This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is going to cover two topics. The first is how to make a child page or subpage of another page, uh, what would be the parent page. And the second is how to hide a link to a page uh, that would otherwise appear in the pages sidebar widget. And before we get started, let me just introduce myself and my company. I'm Mark McLaren, uh, owner of McBuzz Communications, and we do all kinds of online marketing, um, Google AdWords, Google Analytics, search engine optimization, um, WordPress websites, and other kinds of social media marketing. So if you'd like to uh, learn more about us, check out mcbuzz.com. Okay. Uh, here's the Business Blogging 101 website that I use for these tutorials, and this is at mcbuzz.wordpress.com. And you can see here this uh, theme, it's a three-column theme, a very nice theme on the wordpress.com uh, hosting. And it's got navigation across the top, like you know most themes do have a, a kind of a horizontal uh, nav, and this shows the, the pages that are on the site. And this shows the main pages up, up top here. You don't see any of the subpages, but you do see the subpages in the site navigation in the sidebar. So this is the text, uh, sorry, this is the um, pages sidebar widget. And we'll talk about that in a minute because I'm going to show you how to hide links that, that appear here. Uh, you can see the about page, and then you can see two subpages. The first is a subpage of the about page, and the next is a subpage of that page. Uh, so, how do you do this? How do you create pages that are subpages, and and why would you want to do that? Well, you know, you you may not want to have every page on your website appearing in your main navigation. If you try to do that, you're going to run out of space typically um, for those links, and you also might want to have uh, pages that you know are in some subcategory of the the upper level page like about and these are more about pages right presumably so um, if you have any questions about that just send me a comment so let's see how to how to make a page into a sub page it's pretty straightforward uh, if I create a new page I go into the dashboard here and I go to pages and then I add a new page Okay, here is my new page, okay, and some text in there. Uh, now I have over on the right side under attributes the option to make this page a sub page. Right now, as the you know drop down menu shows you, it's it's gonna be a main page, and so it would appear up up here in this navigation. And in fact it would probably knock one of these uh, links off and uh, so it wouldn't be visible because there's not any more space up here. Um, but that's just a uh, characteristic of this particular theme. So if I if I publish this um, I'm going to show you I'm going to make it a, a sub page of the sub sub page here okay so I can select any page on the site and make this page a sub page. I'm going to select a sub here and see what happens. It's always good in a tutorial to do stuff uh, that you don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, let's see. So let's see where this shows up. I'm going to refresh. And now we look at the site nav. Okay, and there it is. It's a, now displays as a sub, sub, sub page of about, right? My new page. And I could actually go in and, you know, create even uh, one more, just to see if this works. One more page, and make that a sub 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 of this my new page. Okay, publish, and go and refresh. Okay, boom. Here's one more page. So presumably you could continue doing that ad infinitum, and I'm not going to try that now, but 
Um, you can see these are real pages. Okay, I don't have any text on this one, um, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing that you can do um, is hide links that you don't want to have showing up here. So, if you'll notice, I have WordPress Tutorials Complete List here, and I decided not to have that showing up in the site nav on the left side. Okay, so if, if you can see that, um, it, it's not in here. Okay, how do you manage that? Um, and, and one of the reasons that, that this is a very handy um, little technique, hiding pages uh, whose links would otherwise appear in the uh, pages sidebar widget, is that sometimes you need to do that when you create a home page that is a, is a page. It's not like on this Business Blogging 101, I have the blog, this is the default, right, for a WordPress uh, theme, is that the blog posts show up on what is the home page, right? But you can designate any page in your site to be the home page. It doesn't have to be the blog. Um, and I've got that in, a, in another tutorial. Um, so check that out. But Anyway, if, if you were to do that, then you would want to hide that link to the home page over here in the site nav. So let's just see, you know, um, just for example, how that looks. I'm going to go into Appearance, Widgets. Okay, here are all the widgets in my sidebar. The sidebar one, which is the left sidebar. Um, and you can see the second one is called Site Navigation open that up. So here's where I put the title in, okay, and that was this widget here, the pages widget. Can you see that? I'm trying to highlight it. Uh, there we go. Okay, and it's sorted by page order. Okay, you can uh, do that however you like. And then I've got in here a number, 72. How did I get this number? Uh, it's not obvious, uh, you know, so if you want to exclude a page using this uh, little uh, feature, you have to find the page ID, okay? And that is not hard, but I don't think it's uh, clear in most people's minds that are, you know, sort of new to WordPress. Where do we find the, the page ID? Um, you go to page, pages, okay? edit and then when you roll over the page here like I'm doing with about or in the case of uh, the page that I was excluding right which is this WordPress tutorials complete list uh, hopefully you can see that down below in what's called the status bar uh, there is a number 72 I'm gonna to have to try to zoom in on that 72 there but I'm rolling over WordPress tutorials complete list page here and then in the status dar status bar down below uh, you can see the very last thing in that status uh, URL is post equals 72 that is the number okay these other pages have different numbers each page has its own um, post number even though it's a page, it has a post number. So you take that number to your pages sidebar widget, okay, and you drop it in there, and it hides that page. All right, so let's try it with one of the new pages that we created. We'll go back. So that would be like, let's hide the one more page link, okay. So go back to pages here in our list, edit, or just click on pages. And here's one more page, okay? And I look down below in the status bar, and I see that the uh, number post equals is 351. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my appearance widgets, pages sidebar widget, and I'm going to put a comma in here after the 72. And put 351 and cross my fingers and hope it works. Okay, done. Be sure to click Save Changes. Go back out here and refresh. And hopefully it's gone. It is gone. So there's the My New Page, but 
the sub 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 page is not any longer in the site navigation here okay even though it is still a real page it still exists on the site but you can't see a link to it there okay and uh, again the quick edit okay you can also find the menu for sub pages or parent page parent here in the quick edit all right cool thanks for checking out McBuzz WordPress tutorials.